West Africa AIDS Foundation is known as WAP, and we are actually um, into HIV-related activities, trying to empower Ghanaians to take care of themselves so they don't get um, infected with HIV. But also for those that are already infected, we are there always to try and assist them as much as we can so they become um, normal people in society. Unfortunately, in 2011, we were hit by um, terrible floodwaters that caused lots of damage both to the, um, to the facility as well as to um, two of the vehicles that we were using for, um, for all, all outreach work for, for the organization. Um, literally, the van that we are seeing here was uh, made in water. It was totally covered. The inside was damaged. The engine was, was very badly damaged. We have been using it since um, I think the beginning of 2012. We are managing somehow, but as the years go by, we are seeing that it's getting very, very, very worse. Now, um, the engine is literally very weak. It needs to be um, uh, replaced. Um, the shocks are all gone. Driver is very frustrated when he has to drive because the car smokes badly. Um, the little repairs that we try to do is not enough anymore. And truly, the organization is struggling because um, it's literally the only vehicle we have. Mostly what we get from donors goes strictly into patient care and into prevention activities, not allowing us to save any money for emergencies that come out like this. So this fundraising we are trying to put together is literally going to help us buy a new engine. It's going to let us have new shocks for the vehicle and then some other petty things that need to be replaced on the vehicle just to put it in a, in a good and safe conditions to transport us, the staff around, um, as well as, you know, help us reach out into the communities as we do our community outreach work but also to transport staff as we go to so many important meetings um, across the country. Our roads are very bad and going around in a vehicle like this is not just dangerous to ourselves but it, it just hinders our work and uh, we don't feel comfortable and we don't feel we are able to do as much as we would be willing to do for this so many people who need our help. So please help us raise some money to buy a new engine and, and some shocks and some other parts just to put this vehicle back on the road so we can continue with the work that we do.